Hello there, YouTube. This is Trainer Caller, and we're back with battle number three for the Johto Classic Wi-Fi competition. If you have not seen battles number one and two, definitely go check them out. They're awesome battles from this competition. I'm here with the third battle. So we got our team there, and now we're going to the battle. I just realized we haven't used Clefable once in this whole competition. But I believe that we're using the same team as last video. Quagsire, Dragonite, and Arcanine. My opponent here has Gengar, and K, and Hitmolly. And this will be a fun match. And after this, guys, I will be posting week 9 of the ILL, so stay tuned for that. But let's begin the match here. We got ourselves a Gengar up front. He goes for Will-O-Wisp. Um, that's not going to matter on an attacking standpoint. It is going to rack up damage. It's going to negate my leftovers recovery. Uh, so that's a good thing for my, for my opponent, so. Uh, he goes for a Shadow Ball, and this actually does a little bit more than I was expecting. But granted, this uh, Quad Sire is more physically defensive than specially defensive. So, if that makes sense, that is. But, you know, it's fine. Uh, we burn Gengar. That's actually really good. Um, that means that his recovery in the form of uh, Black Sludge that's going to be negated as well. Unfortunately, Quagsire goes down, but that's okay. I go into Arcanine for some stupid reason. Um, I forgot that this Arcanine does not carry Crunch. If I had Crunch, that would have been amazing. He actually outspeeds me, um, gets the poison out of the Sludge Bomb, and it's like, really? Come on. But we do end up um, finishing off Gengar with a Flare Blitz that will not take not that much recoil again, a critical hit, which will not matter. Severe overkill, in my opinion. Uh, but we take a little bit of recoil there from the Flare Blitz, and we take Poison Damage. Now his second Pokemon is MK, and um, I haven't fought an MK at all until now in this competition. But I do know that they carry uh, Sacred Fire. Um, Sacred Fire has the chance of burning the opponent's Pokemon or my Pokemon in this scenario. And we'll see that happen. We see Dragonite getting burned here from the Sacred uh, Fire, but I have a Lumberry not going to matter. I go for an Earthquake. Hopefully this takes him out. MK is quite bulky. Um, if I had a, drag a Dragon Dance boost, that would have been amazing here. But we get to use Extreme Speed, finish off MK, and um, his last Pokemon is Hitmonlee. I do know that they are notorious for braining um, Fake Out to the Cable. So, expecting Fake Out with a normal gem, we will go into Arcanine, cut down his physical attack, and then we can uh, put a lot of damage with him with an extreme speed. Um, that's all it's going for. Because I believe that Unburgen is in effect. Hitmonlee's ability Unburgen doubles his speed, so he will be faster than most of my Pokemon, unless I use Priority. He knocks off my Assault Vest, not going to matter, and I get to finish him off with an extreme speed. So this was a short battle, but I just wanted to post it because that was the only battle that I thought that was really interesting. So that's going to conclude the Johto Classic uh, battles for now. Next up, we have the ILL Week 9. So stay tuned for that, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this uh, series of videos from the Johto Classic. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Wi-Fi battle video. Have a great day, trainers!